Welcome to another vlog, guys. As I'm sure you can tell, we are in the 430 Scuderia with a very cold engine because I've literally just gotten behind the wheel. So let's close up that window. It does sound good when it's cold. It's, a, it's annoying that it sounds best when it's cold when you can't make the most of it, you know what I mean? Now then, hopefully you can see this, but you see these extended paddles. I've had a lot of you ask um, if these are standard paddles or aftermarket. They're aftermarket. The previous owner put them on. Actually, two owners ago. Yeah, he put them on. And yeah, so I don't know where they came from. I think they're Novitec because they're real carbon and the same weave as Ferrari. Or they're off like some other for like a 16. No, 16M have the same small paddles as a Scuderia normally has. And they're not 599 GTO paddles. So I'm not too sure, but I have been getting a lot of questions about that. Look at that sun. Today, boys, we are heading to check out a pretty cool car with a very, very cool wrap. So I'm trying to get inspiration for the Audi R8 wrap. And uh, I saw this one online and I found it really interesting. So we're meeting up with the owner. It should be pretty insane. That is the beast that we're here to see today. Now I'm just waiting for someone to come out there because we're going to put both cars in to be able to wash them. So this Mini needs to, needs to come out. But then we are going to be talking about that beast with a very special wrap today. Right, one clean car later. Both cars are clean, and we've actually had a Novitec 458 just show up out of nowhere right there. I hope the camera's not too shaky, but I thought I'd show you Jordan's performance. I'm gonna put his Instagram here. He's got plenty of cool cars. He's got a matching GT3 RS and a similar spec. But if you can see, there's multicolored headlights there and blacked out headlights on this side. It's kind of like a marble gold finish super nice matte white on this side and the gold finishes are really cool even with his instagram sort of engraved there matte black forged carbon fiber matte black here even gold on the door handle oh dodge viper that was sick naturally aspirated v10 like in this car and like in my audi r8 it's got the red stitching sports seats very uncomfortable but look awesome and the forged carbon fiber on the interior this spec is awesome this is a great car now we're going to head down now into town a little bit and i'll show you a bit more of this car when we get down there but i just thought i'd make a little vlog and show you this seems like there are some cars out novitech 458 and this beautiful perf and of course the sky made it to the port it's a little bit windy but i thought i'd show you this hurricane and the wrap what do you think do you think this could be a good option, the kind of two-faced style? Maybe not exactly like this, but, you know, like the, the divide that we saw on like Florian Merckx's LaFerrari or John Olsen's RS6 and now this uh, Performante. I quite like it, obviously for the R8 because I'm going to leave this car completely stock for now. But while we've got this car here, I thought I'd show you some of the changes we've got compared to a stock Hurricane on the Performante. We've got the Ala system, which is active aero. So you've got little flaps here, for example where the air so depending on how fast you're going how much acceleration you're putting down these can adapt to modulate the airflow through the car it's also got gloss uh, forged carbon all around this car which is really nice the front split has completely changed compared to a hurricane much more aggressive we've also got the aggressive hood from the hurricane but then these wheels which you can get actually on a stock hurricane now but yeah, those are very, very cool. They can, you can get this other multi-spoke design, which is only perf, which is very nice. The side skirts, slightly more beefy and a bit more animalistic. Let's look inside, because that's where there are also quite a few changes. So noticeable on this are these carbon seats, which are, as I said earlier, very uncomfortable, very hard carbon seats. They look awesome though, but a lot of people actually go for the Alcantara stock hurricane seat now the main difference is it's all alcantara in here compared to uh, stock it comes with leather in the standard hurricane the 610 this is obviously 640 horsepower so a little bit of extra power the red contrast stitching but then forged carbon all around see forged composite right there written and that goes all the way down the center console and the steering wheel has 
Alcantara runner as well and forged carbon on the paddles. Now this car's very dark inside because it's got a tinted front windscreen as well as very tinted windows on the side and round back. So that's the interior. Those are the three main changes. Alcantara, forged carbon and the seats. Apart from that, it is all pretty much the same. Now, round back, it becomes interesting. We've got more Ala Active Aero, but this massive wing, which is absolutely beautiful and is mounted from the front, which is unusual, newer design for wings there. Can we just say also the Scud looks gorgeous, all nice and cleaned up. Now, the back is where the main differences are. So rather than having dual exits on each side, so having quad exhaust tips, you've only got two slightly more central and a bit higher up so the exhausts are actually a lot shorter so the sound is amazing stock on this car now slightly more beefy rear diffuser and more gloss forged carbon as well as this entire wing is glossed forged carbon looks really really nice so let me know what you think what would you have would you have a stock perf a 610 or would you have a perf a, sorry a stock hurricane not stock perf stock hurricane 610 or the perf I also quite like this. Do you, are you more old school? Are you more modern? Comment everything below. This is just us meeting up with some friends to look around the car. Nothing else really happening in this video. There is a Speedster over there. Porsche 991 Speedster. Very, very nice. But yeah. Oh, he's starting up, so we might get him driving past. Very cool. Very cool. Anyways, that's pretty much it for us here. I wanted to show you this little gadget I've got there in the cigarette lighter. That allows me to play Bluetooth through my phone and through the radio in this car. And because originally, obviously, this being a 2009, there is not Bluetooth on it, but rather than replacing the whole head unit, you can just get this little gadget and it links up to the radio, so you just have to put a certain channel on and then it Bluetooth connects to your phone and you can play music. So I now have Bluetooth connected to that subwoofer right there, which ironically has some noise cancelling headphones on it. Um, but yeah, it's a cheap way to be able to have Bluetooth in the car. Now the car was also cleaned inside recently. It looks all nice and brand new. Really, really like it. I like how this yellow goes with the whole spec on the car and is also complemented on the roof. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. There you go, you can kind of see it. But yeah, anyways, beautiful Monaco. Looks absolutely stunning, but that's it. One last thing I want to show you. Look, my temporary plate in, uh, on the Ferrari, so you get these, in Monaco you get these weird temporary plates. It's coming completely unstuck, which is a little bit annoying, but hey ho, it happens. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it from us. Let me know if you enjoy this kind of very simple video where I just show you a friend car. We've got some uh, motorbikes arriving right now. But yeah, just really simple. There's a perf, we came down in the scud. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers, bye-bye.